Hi folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Here you see we are now working on this left inboard wing stub. This one probably suffered the most damage on the, the entire accident that the airplane was in. It pretty much ripped off this whole thing. So what I'm working on doing now is I am decided I'm gonna put the, the leading edge of the nacelle and everything back on to get as much rigidity built back into the airplane as possible that that will get the the firewall piece bolted or glued up here onto the, the these plywood aircraft fly ribs that'll help kind of box in the whole structure with the trailing edge and the wing tubes and everything that way we have a nice structurally sound ish wing section and then i'll start removing sheeting from the top of the wing to fix the the star we the spar we have here as well as probably add an additional spar here in the back and then start like i said re start replacing wing skins so one thing i've done is i have cleaned up this leading edge a little bit here and i bored a three quarter inch hole what i plan to do is just take a three quarter inch oak dowel i'm going to get it inside the hole there i'm going to bore another hole inside the leading edge that has been torn off the airplane and this is gonna probably go uh, three or four inches inside that that leading edge on this side and then when I come time to to repair the leading edge I'll just cut it out here and I'll just insert a piece with a, a u-shaped notch in it to go around this this dowel but this is gonna more or less pin the leading edges together hopefully provide a little bit more strength so that's kind of what I'm in the process of doing now. Alright, that looks like it's going to be about as close as it's going to get. Yeah, that looks pretty close. So now we can get a lot of this glued in and I can get a ratchet strap on here to really hold this in place okay one thing I've decided to do is I'm going to remove the, the the triangle stock that was here holding some of the the nacelle portions or no nacelle structure to the firewall so I'm going to clean this part up and also going to do the same thing on the back of the firewall Okay folks, I've got everything cleaned up here on the nacelle support piece and also on the back side of the firewall here. Now I'm going to get ready to glue all this on. I got a couple of lashing straps back there in the background. You know, it, like I have said many times with this project, it's a whole lot of just rinse and repeat. So really, we're just doing more of the same for everything else. I'm going to take spray bottle with the, the the water mixture that I have in here I'm gonna spray it eventually here on the back side of this leading edge this one is a lot more um, generous with the water this time for this just because there's a little bit of a gap between this foam and the the balsa wood from the foam just compressing a little bit in the, in the crash. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna squirt some inside the holes for this dowel. And then I'm just gonna start putting the Gorilla Glue in here. This one I did not pull as tight as I did on the wing panels because I did not want to to mess up 
this corner of the trailing edge because there's a nicely carved piece of solid balsa there that I do not want to have to carve to make match the other side. So really all I have to do now is not much. Like I said I'm going to get my little brass tube tool thing here and I'm going to fill it up with some more Gorilla Glue and I'm going to just go down through here in this seam and inject some some Gorilla Glue in it as tightly as I can. So really no need for that to be seen. So for now. Okay folks, now that we've got the leading edge piece glued on while it's drying, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna work on this forward hatch area and get it to where you can see we have a body filler here and a crack that had started. And then there's beginning points of cracks as well in the corners. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of just quarter inch by, this is three quarter inch balsa. You can see where I've marked it already here. And I'm just going to create a slot to where this will slide down on the inside wall. And then I'm going to just Gorilla Glue this inside there, sand it down to match the contour of the fuselage, and then it will get re glass when everything else does. The hope is that this extending further out and it being a little bit more substantial than just eighth inch light plywood, that this will create kind of a, a stress block where it'll spread out the stresses that are concentrating in these corners for more distance to where it will be less likely to crack. put some Gorilla Glue I'm gonna put a nice thick bead here at the top another bead down at the bottom and then another one here on this side then I'm gonna slide this piece of balsa wood in that is all for now see yous